So if you don't know, I made a video a while ago talking about the problems with After the Flash. You know, it was just a simple rant where I disliked what was going on in the community, what Chad was doing, and, you know, basically pent up feelings that I never really got to express. Well, I said a lot of things that weren't actually what I thought they were like. And now that I've been promoted to helper, I've seen things out of a different lens. For a very long time, I thought after the flash had a lot of problems, but when I got to helper, I realized that those problems weren't more so like on the moderators or Chad, or the managers, or even the helpers. It was on the community. See, what I realized was that the community has a problem itself. And that is what I'm going to be talking about today. Now, a word from our sponsor. So, the ATF community most of it is comprised of, you know, 16, 17, 18 year olds or even beyond. Because that's the appeal that it draws in, like that's the group that it draws in because of the appeal that it has. You know, simple stuff. But I've also noticed that a lot of younger people are coming in, and the way they act is a lot different from somebody who's more mature. See, <sighs> it's disgusting to see a 14 year old make something sexual, or like a 13 year old say something sexual in Flash Norm, or make a sex joke in After the Flash, Mirage, or Overcast. You see what I'm trying to say? But then there's then there's the ones that complain all the time. And oh my god, this community complains too fucking much about everything. If there is something wrong, they will complain about it non-stop. They will not let Shad breathe. They will not let the moderators, the helpers, the managers breathe at all. And it's disgusting you know people are these people these same people right they're saying oh ATF is dying ATF is getting boring yeah sure okay that's an opinion but I don't agree with it but you want to know why you think that it's because you're not being a decent member of the community you're not adding on to what the community has to offer you're not being a productive person. What you're being is a couch rat who is saying just words that come to mind without thinking what they're actually saying. And it's kind of... It's, it makes you look bad, <laughs> basically. But to explain it more in depth, think of it like this. Think of it as a football fan goes to a stadium. He complains that he can't fit in a seat. But that's because he's so fat that he fits in three. And I don't know if that made sense or not, but quite frankly, we have problems in terms of complaining. And I'm not talking small scale problems like oh the dog pissed on the rug kind of problem because that's small scale i'm talking about your vietnam veteran grandpa with schizophrenia and ptsd ran out of schizophrenia pills and he has a loaded shotgun that type of problem see 
it goes from being a simple, simple like little com complaint issue to where it spreads like wildfire, and next thing you know, you got people quitting because of something that isn't true. ATF is not dying, but it is a good mindset that is. That good mindset that players had in the age of Deep Winter, Early Mirage, or like Deep Six, that type of mindset is dying. Because of incidents like this. And quite frankly, it's, it's disgusting. And I used to be one of those people too! It just, it, I don't know how to feel about it. I mean, I understand where you guys are coming from at the end of the day. I don't know what but quite frankly, us, you know, that's that's for sure. It needs to stop if we want to make the game better for everyone. It's all about that means no more hostility, no more acting like a complete ass, no more acting weird. It means just be a decent human being. That's not too much to ask. We've done it before. People have done it before. But then that brings me up to my next topic. There was a time when Chad released boxes and people were genuinely excited. They, they were like, ooh, new content, new, new stuff to do. But now it's died down. There's no enjoyment. It's just people thinking, oh, cool, another cash grab by Chad. You know? And that's not the case. I did my research. This man, he has a wife. He has people he needs to pay, his developers. And DevX is shit. DevExchange is shit. They take away a certain percentage of what you input. Like, let's say you put pants on sale, and you say you want to put it for like five Robux. Well, you would only get like two or three because of what Roblox does. Roblox taxes every like little exchange. And from what I've seen, it happens to DevX too. And so it's this this horrible mindset that Chad's just doing this for the money. And to an extent, Chad probably is. But not in the way that you think, and not because of ill intentions. If that was the case, ATF would be dead years ago. It like up there? It's clear to see that there's a reason behind it. Now, my final point is just overall try to change and do better people. Because right now, what I'm seeing is just this negative mindset that lingers over everybody lately. I get it. As of November 7th, 2021, the date I'm making this. People have around the world are just negative, they're depressed, they're sad, they're angry. People haven't been that happy lately. Because of real world issues that I can't say about or else I will probably get in trouble by YouTube. And it's like... Yeah, that's fine, but don't make that as an excuse to act like a bad person, act like a negative person. So... Don't ruin the community because you have a bad mindset. Instead, try to fix that mindset in the community that we all enjoy. And I'm not trying to say this is no cringe-worthy statement. Like, I, as much as I, you know, I don't like to be cheesy, as much as I hate saying words like this, you know, it's kind of what I have to say. Because it's true. We all enjoy this. Don't ruin it for us, just because you know, the, not all of us enjoy it, but most of us enjoy this. 
So if anything, stay positive, but more importantly, don't be negative. Which basically means, oh my fucking god. Anyways. Anyways. That was all I really had to say. I... It's like, one in the morning, you know. It's gonna take probably like, 30 minutes to an hour to upload this video. And like, two hours to edit it. And I have a friend coming over tomorrow. I'm probably gonna be lacking sleep. But, you know. I just had to say this. Because... It's something that's been on my mind for a while. Something I wanted to do for a while. You know, that I actually have, like, a platform to do it on. Where everybody can see it. I think that... It would... Things... I think that it would be good to just put it out here. Um, if you enjoyed this video, you know, like, subscribe, do whatever that bullshit is. I quite frankly don't care for it. But I mean, I... I... I it just helps. <laughs> um, but that's been all. Um, thanks.